What is up, YouTube? How is everybody out there doing today? I hope you guys are having a fabulous freaking day. My, my kid is, is acting stupid. Probably, well, stop jumping around. It won't be so hot. Why are you touching the ceiling when you're high and you're trying to touch the ceiling? It's so hot. Un unbelievable. Unbelievable. All right, guys. Let's get going back on the Duramax build with the Rough Country 6-inch freaking lift. Alright guys, well here's Zach trying to touch roofs. He's an idiot. And here's the Dirty Max, all torn apart. The only thing we don't have torn apart right now is the torsion bar setup, which is going to be pretty simple and easy to do. We have our front diff out. Now I will tell you guys, in order to get, the easiest way to get this front diff out is there is a bracket underneath it here that needs to be saws all out. I'm going to show you where that is. It sits right here on the driver's side uh, back frame support, I guess. And uh, you basically have to cut that to pieces and get that out. So you're definitely gonna need the good old Sawzall. Um, I gotta do a ball joint in that, which I do have the ball joint. Gotta get the hubs out to put in the new hubs. But today, what we're gonna be showing you here, hopefully real quick, is very, 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 very important. And that is going to be modifying this diff to be able to work with the Rough Country 6 inch lift here, guys. So there is a lot of little clearance issues that we need to take care of here. One of them being, we need to cut this off and stone grind this down as close as we can without going through the case. The second thing is, obviously stone grinder again, we have to take these fins off here and uh, I did actually talk to Senda Steve about this, and he pretty much told me, he's like, listen, Andy, just cut them all down. He's like, don't cut them down a little bit. Don't cut them down a little bit and keep test fitting. He's like, I always cut the fins off my rough country, uh, or my rough, when he does rough country lifts, Senda Steve does, um, which he's done plenty of them, lots of uh, lift kits through Senda Steve. So he, you know, he's a good guy to know when I was asking questions about this. I'm glad I know him. But um, he told me, just cut the fins completely off, just grind them down as close as possible, and everything will be fine. I'm like, awesome, dude, awesome. So, we got that taken care of. This bracket here is, uh, that actually holds this, does this plate on here. That bracket needs to go on here as well, and bolt it to the housing. Uh, what else, what else, what else, what else, what else, what else? Uh, a few little things. Basically, what we're going to try to achieve in this part of the video, this is going to be the second part. We definitely are going to have to have a third part, obviously. What we're going to try to achieve is to get this ready to go, not installed, and then we're hopefully going to be able to get this piece installed in the front and this piece installed in the back and bolted up uh, loosely to where we can kind of see what it's going to look like underneath and kind of get a little bit of a visual of that desert tan rough country lift on the green Duramax. So I guess the very first thing we need to do is maybe get started on this. So let's start, let's start cutting things guys. is off now we got to go ahead and we got to make sure we get in here and we have to grind this all down with a stone grinder without going through the case uh, we'll get that done and then we're gonna move on to these fins and uh, hopefully get a lot of these fins mowed down as well 
So, you definitely are gonna need a spoon grinder and probably a couple of these guys here, to be honest, this one's used, but we're gonna use it anyways, because basically we gotta machine this all down and clean it up as much as possible. And more than likely, we're gonna be going through more than one of these uh, discs. Uh, definitely take your time with this. These discs do get hot and they will start collecting that aluminum in the disc and won't even cut anymore. So just take your time, get through it. It's not that bad. Um, just like we're gonna show you here, it's not that bad. Okay, well, I'm kind of done putting my hat back on because um, I'm just going to look like a bag of dicks here for a minute. And you guys are just going to have to deal with my bald head. It's just the way things are going to have to work. But after about a good 20, 30 minutes of grinding, I think I got that pretty well low. Um, I don't know if that's as low as I need to go. I don't know if I can get away with going less lower than that but I don't want to take the chance of having to put this thing back up in there and it not fitting right. So that gives you a good idea where I stand on what I've grind off, grind, well, blah, 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 what I would have grind off. Now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna start grinding away all of this right here. And uh, yeah, yeah, that's what we're gonna do now. All right, guys, so we got done grinding. I'm hoping and praying that this is enough of clearance. As you guys can see, uh, I cut out a lot. It is, uh, it's a lot. Um, hopefully it'll clear. Obviously, once we get the diff back in, I'll definitely be letting you know. That's not gonna be in this video, and it'll be in the next video. But uh, for right now, what we're gonna end up doing is we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna put both our uh, supports up or our lowering blocks whatever you want to call them we're going to go ahead and put up the r the rough country front one and install the rear one as well guys so let's get that done all right guys so we have the rough country front cross member in and back cross member in as you guys can see here we'll get the light a little bit better you guys can see it but man oh man that tan looks good it's going to look even better when it is up in the air six inches. Whoo, doggy, look at that. You can't tell me, you cannot tell me that don't look good. It just, it, it looks like it just belongs there. You know what I mean? Like it's a part of the truck. Ah, oh, wow. A lot of work, a lot of walks. Still gotta take the torsion bars out and, uh, and get the torsion bars done. We gotta do that, we gotta lower them down. They're actually gonna be going, it looks like they're gonna be going underneath the um, uh, cross member possibly, which is not really that big of a deal, except if I ever have to take my tranny out, I'm gonna be really not a happy camper because before I could leave my tranny in and lower, leave the torsion bars in and take the tranny out. But now if I had to pull that tranny or anything, I'm definitely gonna be pulling them torsion bars back out too, which is going to suck. But it is what it is, guys, it is what it is. I am happy I'm at this stage. We are literally in the assembly part of the video segment on the Rough Country six inch lift on the 2001 Duramax dually. It's gonna be epic, guys. What do you think, Zach? Uh, I'm liking it. What do you think of the. I'm not gonna lie, the color looks really good. It does look good with the green. Like, let's get the over here a little bit. The colors that Like, look at that. It, it looks really good with the green. It definitely looks good with the green. I like it. The powder uh, I'm glad I went with Desert Tan, dude. Oh, there's the other hole. Yeah, oh, you found it? Yeah, I'm glad I went with Desert Tan. I'll be honest with you. I'm kind of happy I did. I almost was going to do some oh, crazy, cool. almost was going to do some crazy color, just like I've done on my Bulletproof Hitch. But I didn't really want to go crazy. I didn't want to go nutsy with it. I just wanted to, you know, make it look good. 
and uh, make it look like it belongs on the truck. You know what I mean? Make it a color that belongs on the truck. And considering one day I will eventually wrap this truck, probably some sort of like OD green, I think the desert tan will definitely complement that if it ever does get painted or wrapped OD green. But even with the forest green right now, the way it sits, I'll tell you what, that tan, whoo, boys and girls, that tan looks good. Comment below, let me know what you think of that tan, because that is, I, I'm in love. I am in love. <laughs> what do you think, bud? That's some good stuff right there. It's been a long, long, long day, man. I'll tell you what. Well, it is late, yeah. We, I started working on this at five after, after work, technically. Um, and I got this much done. I was able to grind away everything that I needed to grind away on the differential. And I was able to temporarily loosely install my front and rear cross member from Rough Country. Very, very happy I can get to this point. Next video is gonna be full assembly. It's gonna be the differential going in, um, A-arms going back up, torsion bars getting done, kicker bars getting done. Hell, I honestly might actually do a fourth video just on the kicker bars alone, just to show people what kicker bars, like what the kicker bars need to be uh, done to, or how to do the kicker bars, uh, instead of putting it in the next statement. Maybe I'll just do one kicker bar, like one video for Rough Country that is just on the kicker bars alone. Um, that way people don't have to go through three segments of a video just to get to the kicker bar part. There'll be an independent video of just the kicker bars alone, because they are an optional add-on, so. But we'll get them done regardless. Other than that, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoyed enjoyed the progress on the good old Dirty Max. I am super, super happy. Other than that, give this video a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Instagram, Diablo Formula Racing, and deuces, guys.